we're at London Youth Games Handball this afternoon and what we're looking at is trying to do some five-a-day revision for the GCCPE course. So, with the five-a-day, what we're aiming for is that we're going to put five pressures out every single day in the lead-up to the exam. So we have one month to go before the 16th of May where we've got to try and then answer those 78 marks for AQA or 80 for the, the exam boards. So, here is the first one. So, we are obviously at an Olympic venue. So we're at the copper box today where they did the handball for the Olympics. So what we've got to think about then are the, what are the influences or even what are the barriers for people to participate in sports. So for different genders, for different uh, age groups, for different races, first thing is can you name five barriers for participation in sport? That's a fencing apparently and a bit of handball, I don't know. So, we have just won our first game, fantastic. So what we need to do is question two. So question two, thinking about what I've just seen from the girls' faces, what are the short-term effects of exercise? So with our short-term effects, what we mean is what happens right there and then when you're exercising. Not because of training, not because of years of working, but actually right there and then, what are the immediate effects of exercise? Give it a go. So I want to see at least three. Write the comments if you think you know them. Revision question number three. So what should we go with on this one? Performance enhancing drugs. So it's uh, in the news with obviously the Paralympics and with Russia and also the Olympics, thinking about those different things. So if we were to look at these different people, so we've got a fencer behind us and we have a handball player. So if I was a handballer, which type of performance enhancing drug would best improve my power. So, which performance enhancing drug would a handballer use to maybe improve their power? Again, write in the comments, see what you think. Very noisy here. Number four. So, let's have a think. What about technology in sport? So, can you name or state three different ways that technology can be used to improve performance? So three different ways in which you can improve performance using technology. This might be a bit of a tip. I'm using one right now. And question number five. So question number five, let's have a look at recovery. So can you state five different ways in which an athlete could recover better, better, faster? Who knows? Let's try again. So number five. So give me five different ways in which a performer could recover faster from their sport. So five different methods of recovery which an athlete could use to recover faster. Enjoy. So this is what we're going to be doing. So over the next month, five of these a day. Hopefully not quite as mugshot as this. We'll try and get a few other things out. And if there are any topics that anybody would like me to try and cover, please comment in the uh, bit below. Also follow us on Twitter at planet underscore P. Cheers.